Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you are doing so very well. It's about that time again. About that time for wrap ups and TBRs. I'm gonna be giving you guys my March wrap up and my April to be read, so let's start. I read eight books in the month of March. I think that's pretty good considering I didn't read any books in the first week of March. I was just really busy getting ready for El Salvador and trying to get everything prepared and get caught up on work and stuff like that. So I just didn't worry about reading until I got on the plane, leaving my town, going to Dallas to go to El Salvador. The first book that I read this month, I read almost entirely on those two plane rides and that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Guys, I really, really loved this book so much. It's supposed to apocalyptic book. The book's opening chapter starts on the night that the flu outbreak happens that causes the apocalypse and then it follows characters from that night and different portions of the novel that take place at different time periods and go through different time jumps and it's just really beautifully done. It's definitely not action-packed which a lot of post-apocalyptic books are really action-packed and action-driven. It's more of a literary book and so beautifully written. I just loved it so much. I give this book a five out of five stars and honestly right now it's one of the best books I've read this year. The next book I read in El Salvador, and it was also on my Kindle, was How to Love by Katie Contugno. I ended up liking this book a lot more than I thought I was going to. I wanted something super fast and quick after reading Station Eleven, and this was perfect for that. It follows a girl named Rena before and after her relationship with this boy named Sawyer. The before kind of is their beginnings and the end of their relationship, and the after is three years later, she's had his kid, and he's not really anywhere to be seen, but then he shows back up and she's like, what are all these feelings that I'm experiencing in the heart area? I liked the format of going before and after. It was really interesting and it kept for a quick story and you kind of wanted to know what happened. The characters were all right. They were kind of obnoxious at some parts. Sometimes Reno was just like hot and cold and I was like, girl, what are you doing? And Sawyer is kind of the typical YA heartthrob mysterious guy, but overall it was really enjoyable and a lot more enjoyable than I was expecting it to be. I gave this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. The next book I read that was also on my Kindle was The Young World by Chris Weitz. The Young World is about a group of teenagers. Basically the world has ended. All the adults and young children got killed off by the sickness and people are still dying when they reach the age of 18. So it's just kind of these teenagers in New York City trying to fend for themselves. One of the really smart guys in this group of teenagers thinks he could solve the problem of the sickness So they kind of go on this adventure to figure out where the sickness came from and how they can stop it I don't know what I was expecting from this book, but I was Disappointed I think it may have been because it's a dystopian post-apocalyptic book And I was kind of like ruined for that genre after reading Station Eleven But I don't know just something about it was off I really didn't love the writing or the voices of the characters or the characters in general They fell really flat for me the story was somewhat interesting, but it didn't really like capture my attention. It was just kind of like, all right. And it definitely was not the best dystopian I've ever read. I've read a lot better dystopians and a lot better post-apocalyptic books. <laughs> Station Eleven. <laughs> it's sad that I didn't like it that much because the concept is really intriguing, but all the elements put together didn't really work well for me. I gave this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Womp womp. That concluded my Kindle reading for the month because then I got back from El Salvador and I was like, I need some physical books. And I picked up We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh. Sunquest. This is the book's Explosion book of the month, so I was like, gotta pick that up, and I really enjoyed this book. It's an autobiographical novel about Josh's past relationships. He gets to 25 and realizes he's never been in a real relationship, so he contacts all the girls that he's kind of had things with in the past and tries to figure out what went wrong, what the problem was, why he hasn't had a girlfriend up until this point. I thought this was super cute, really enjoyable. Josh has a great writing voice. He does little charts all throughout that are really, really funny. And it's all written out as kind of like a scientific experiment. You feel a lot of secondhand embarrassment in this book. There are so many times I had to put it down and be like, no, don't do that. I know where you're going. I know what you're going to do. Don't do it. And then he does it and you're like, oh, why? Overall, super enjoyable, really fast read. I would definitely recommend it. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I really enjoyed this classic. I didn't really know anything about it going in. And I think that was really good because I didn't have any ex expectations at all. This is another futuristic book about a guy who is a fireman and firemen in his day and age burn books. They don't put out fires, they start fires. He meets a girl and she kind of challenges his views on the society that he's lived in and he's like, is not everything as good as I thought it was? I don't know. So he kind of has a crisis and tries to like figure things out and it just kind of follows his story and his journey from being a fireman to kind of questioning his whole life. Like I said, this was an enjoyable read. There were a lot of pieces and symbolism that like all 
all came together at the end, which was really cool. Guy was a really interesting character. I felt like things happened a little bit too fast for me in this book. It is really, really short, so that's probably why things happen fast. You know a little bit about him being a fireman, but then you're like, wait, he's questioning his life choices. Okay, things are happening. What is going on? And then just things happen. Boom, 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 boom. But overall, pretty great. I would definitely read it again. I think I would get more out of it the second time. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next two books I read were The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish by Cassandra Rose Clark. These books are about a girl named Donata who accidentally binds herself with an assassin named Naji and they kind of have to figure out how to undo this curse that has them bound together. I actually did a full review on my thoughts on these books. I'll link it here and I'll also link it down below. You can go check that out if you want to see what I thought about these books. Don't worry Worry. The whole beginning is non-spoilery, so you don't have to worry about getting spoiled if you go watch that video. I gave this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars, and I gave this one a 3.75 out of 5 stars. And the last book that I read last month, and technically finished this month, was The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valenti. This is about a girl named September who gets whisked away from her home and goes into fairyland, and she discovers things are not as good as she thought they were going to be, and so she kind of goes on an adventure to fix things and to restore order and happiness to fairyland. I will admit I did not like this book at first at all. It felt really pretentious and really obnoxious and I was like what is even going on? Am I missing something? Am I just not liking this really popular book? For the first three-fourths of the book I was like all right I'm just gonna keep reading it, see if it gets better, see if I end up liking it. Once I got past the writing style and kind of recognized it as an Alice in Wonderland type story I was like okay I can deal with this writing, I got it, we cool. But then we hit the last fourth of the book, the last couple chapters and I was like oh my heart it hurts so good and just things come together and I just started loving September a lot more and Saturday and Elle and I was like oh okay I guess I like this book a little bit so it was sitting at three stars for me I was like I'm not even gonna read the rest of the series but then we got to that last fourth and it went up to a four stars and I was like maybe I will read the rest of these books because I'm interested to see where it goes and that's it those are the books that I read last month Ding. let's get into that TBR shall we first up I think you already know what this is gonna be the Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman that I still haven't read. Second or third month this has been on my TBR? I don't know. I got The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland done, but I ran out of time to read this last month. And this month, we are gonna read this, it's gonna happen, it's gonna be a thing. The next book I've got was a book that was also on my last month's TBR, but I didn't get to. A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. So much hype surrounding this book. I'm just really interested to see if it lives up to the hype. I'm going in with low expectations so that I am not disappointed because I really do love B.E. Schwab's writing. I loved Vicious so, so much. So I'm excited to read this for that reason. I'm not going to buy into the hype yet. Got to read it first, then I'll buy into the hype. Next up is a book that I placed a hold on at the library and then it came around and I was like, I don't have time to read this now. Now, but I do want to read it this month and that is Ferris by Marissa Meyer. If you haven't read Cinder, this is about one of the characters in Cinder. She's kind of the evil moon queen and her name is Lavana. It's like her backstory, I believe. I haven't heard amazing things about this, which is why I got from the library instead of buying it. And to be honest, I don't really like Lavana that much at all. So we'll see if I like this. I didn't want to buy it, but I do want to read it just to have read it. And I also need something to hold me over to winter because I need winter like ASAP. Next up, we've got Inferno by Dante. How many times have I heard about this book in other books? Let me count the times. But seriously, I've heard about this in so many other books and I know it's great, but I just hadn't read it yet. It just wasn't the right time, I guess. But then I was at Barnes & Noble with my friend Chloe and I was like, oh, Inferno, I haven't read that yet. I've been wanting to. And she was like, I'm buying this for you because you need to read it like right now. So she bought it for me, the wonderful friend that she is. And now I'm going to read it this month. I'm super excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. The next book that I want to read is In the Light of What We Know by Zia Hader Raman. I realize now I have explained none of the books up until this point because I've either explained them before or or they're just really famous and you should just go look it up on Google or something. But now we get to this book and I don't really know a lot about it. I know it's about this guy and one of his old friends shows up on his doorstep and so he kind of tries to figure out what his story is, why he disappeared earlier, and in the middle of it he's trying to figure out his story. I think that's basically it. I just saw it on my shelf and I was like, it's time to read you, beautiful book. 
with the even more beautiful spine. Next up, I'm reading The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. I'm doing this as a read-along. It was put together by Arthur from Chapter Select, but also joining the read-along is Samantha from Novels and Nonsense, Liz from Elizy Books, and Katie from Vincent Van Stop. So we are reading this this month. You should definitely join us. I'll link the announcement video down below, and if you don't know anything about this book, it is about a demon who is writing letters to his nephew who's trying to like ensnare this person Person, so it's written from like a demon's point of view. It's really interesting. I've loved reading it before So I'm really excited to read it again, especially with friends and doing a live show I would love it if you would participate with us last but not least I've got to kill a mockingbird by Harper Lee If you didn't know my friend Max at well done books is doing a to kill a mockingbird read-along because Ghost of the Watchmen is coming out in June There's a little bit of controversy surrounding that if you want to go check that out But he organized a read-along and it's during the months of April and May so I may read this this month but I also may read it next month. I don't really know I just wanted to add it in here in case I do read it this month. I haven't read To Kill Mockingbird since high school so I'm really excited to reread it and just fall in love with the story again. I'll link Max's video down below and you can go check it out if that's something you're interested in. Hashtag TKAM. For right now that's all I got on my list. Gonna keep it a little open gonna see if anything else catches my eye. There's also some other books coming out this month, but I don't have any money right now, so I'm probably not gonna be buying those, but I will eventually read them. Just because I didn't mention them doesn't mean I won't read them. Let me know down below what your favorite book you read last month is. I want to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. To kill a marking a marking bird, a marking bird. All right. My Feb. Ugh, wow, it's not February. It's April. It's definitely not a super action-packed post-op. I didn't really. Ugh.